Hey, good morning. Jesus is Lord. The word works, but you need to know what it says in order to work it. See, in 2 Timothy, it says, fight the good fight of faith. There is a battle going on. Now, if there's a battle, there's a battlefield. <clears throat> now, the battlefield is your mind. Let me read to you out of 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4. Now, I want you to really listen today and get this. 2 Corinthians 10, 4 says, For the weapons of our warfare. Huh. That tells me there's a battle going on. For the weapons of our warfare <clears throat> are not carnal. They're not of this fleshly realm. They're not carnal. It's what the Bible says. They are not carnal, but they are mighty through God. <laughs> the devil's got a pea shooter and you have an atomic weapon. Glory be to God. They are mighty through God to, now watch this, to the pulling down of strongholds and, verse 5, and casting down imaginations. i got to read it. Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ, Christ and the word being the same. Now watch. The weapons of our warfare, they're not carnal, but they're mighty through God, but we got to use them. Watch what he's talking about. Thoughts, imaginations, Things that come in. I've been talking to you the last few days about whose report are you going to believe? Are you going to believe what God said about you? Or are you going to believe what the doctor's report is or what the lawyer's report is or, or what your husband said? You know, your old husband, I don't love you no more. Are you going to believe that? Are you going to believe the word of God that says that you'll not lose your husband? That's Deuteronomy chapter 28, beginning in verse 16 through the end of the chapter, which I think is verse 59, which talks about being redeemed from that curse because Christ, Galatians 3, verse 13, hath redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us because the Bible says, cursed is everyone that hangeth on the tree. Verse 29, so that the blessing of Abraham might come upon the Gentiles. The real battleground is the thought life. That's why you have to renew your mind. You got to know what God said. Let me go back and read this again because I want you to get the weapons, weapons of our warfare. Now, that's where the war is going on in the mind. The weapons of our warfare are mighty through God to, let me read it, to the pulling down of strongholds. A stronghold is something that you believe for a long time. I'm going to tell you something. When you start studying the Word of God and believing the Word of God, maybe for your first time, you'll find out an awful lot of that religious stuff was religious stuff. <laughs> It wasn't a word of God at all. To the pulling down of strongholds. Well, you know, God does what he wants to do when he wants to do it. I mean, you know, after all, God is sovereign and you can't make God do nothing. Yes, God's sovereign, but in his sovereignty, he gave you the choice. You got to rethink, relearn, and re-go through that so you realize God's not sitting up there and got everything worked out for you and there's nothing you can do about it anyway. You see, that's a religious stronghold that's been planted over years ago. You know, when you was in, <clears throat> you know, the you know, Sunday school department and coming up through the religious system of today. So it says here, uh, to the pulling down of strongholds, and watch, they're together, strongholds casting down imaginations. Now, I can sit over here and have bad thoughts or good thoughts. The choice is mine. I can sit over here and think, oh, i got enough money to pay my bills. Or I can sit over there and think, God said he'd supply my needs according to his riches and glory. Now, which one of them thoughts am I going to entertain? Which one of them am I going to re... Um, you know, which one of them I, I'm going to renew? Which one of them am I going to believe? Or I can sit over there and say, oh, 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 I feel bad. Oh, Jesus, I feel bad. I hurt. Oh, God, I hurt. And the devil says, yeah, you got cancer. Now, you know, the devil's got a flip chart. Watch this. Go ahead. <clears throat> I believe he's got a flip chart. Just see which one of these things you're going to take. You know, you you you, uh, um, you you just feel bad, man. You feel like you're going to throw up, and the devil says, "Oh, it's a it's a terrible, um, a terrible cancer." Uh, no, man, I don't believe that. I ain't got no cancer. I'm not going to buy that. Well, it's a hernia. You just got a big old hernia. You're going to have surgery. You're going to have to have it. No, I don't believe that. So he'll flip that chart and try something else and say, well, do you believe you got a heart attack? You believe you're having problems with your heart or maybe you got lung emphysema or something. No, no, I don't believe none of that. Jesus paid the price for all of that. And so he keeps flipping that chart, you know, turning that page to see if you'll buy something. 
And so after about four or five, you know, cancer, lung problems, heart attack, uh, hernia, and you say, no, I don't believe that. I'm too young and I don't have those kind of problems. What's wrong with you? And finally he says, oh, it's that pizza that you ate. Man, you know, today you went by Pizza Hut and you pigged out at that uh, Pizza Hut buffet, and you thought that sausage looked a little bit funny, and 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 it didn't settle well with your stomach. And you're sitting there saying, "Hmm, you know that sausage did taste a little bit funny," and I wasn't sure about it when I ate it. Hmm. Well, maybe that's it. And sure enough, you get a little worse, and after a while, you got to run to the bathroom, bloop, and throw up because you received something. Don't receive anything. The weapons of your warfare are not carnal. Don't receive that. Say no. My, my, no deadly thing that enters my body shall harm my body. <laughs> you, have to renew, you have to renew your mind so that you know who you are in Christ, what rights are yours. Like, you know, maybe you're not going to have enough money to pay your bills this time. I didn't have enough money to pay my bills last time, but God supernaturally met them. The point is, whose report are you going to believe? You have to renew your mind. Going to be on this for several, several days. Renewing your mind to think and talk like God said, rather than what comes to your mind. From outside it comes in, from inside it come up. You can't do this stuff without reading the Word of God on a regular basis and replanting the seed that's in your heart of a bunch of yuck that's in the world. Well, you know, you know so and so, and he felt worse than he he felt good and, and, and looked better than you did, and he died. Well, that ain't got nothing to do with the fact that Jesus bore my sicknesses and carried my diseases, and I choose to believe that and I gotta go. Saints have a great day knowing that God's way is better than the devil's way or religion's way. The battle is in your mind. Put the word first place in your life. So until I'm with you tomorrow, remember, hey, Jesus is Lord. Thank God the word works.